What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you my match preview, Watford versus Manchester United. Now, it's been a terrible week for Manchester United fans. We lost the derby against Manchester City, and we lost our first Europa League game against Feyenoord. Against Feyenoord, we didn't even try. We let them come at us. And uh, it, there was just no energy, no desire. You feel if the players actually looked as though they wanted to win, we would have won. So, uh, yeah, I was very disappointed with this. So, first and foremost, I just want to see some effort from the players. You know, I've been looking at a lot of Premier League games, uh, obviously some other results from other leagues. And uh, you look at the intensity that they play at, and there's really no excuse for us not to be playing at a similar intensity. I don't mean style of football, I mean how hard you work how hard well how much you run for example how much determination and energy levels you put into the game i really want to see that because it's been lacking particularly in the game against Feyenoord, but even in stretches of the city game there just wasn't enough you know fight or desire or energy levels throughout the game like everyone was just taking a breather now and then and it's not acceptable particularly when um both games we, we went down and obviously we lost both so uh, yeah against Watford I do expect us to bounce back and uh, the lineup I think is pretty much secure there's just one or two areas that might change Eric Bailly hasn't traveled with the squad he's picked up a slight knock and that shouldn't be too much of an issue because Smalling's back Daily Blind will uh, be reinstated so it shouldn't be too much of an issue it's disappointing but I prefer to see him sit out rest a couple of games come back strong uh, the next Premier League game off the top of my head I can't actually remember uh, you'll know what it is and I, I know what it is I just can't remember anyway I know we play Northampton after this but I, I don't expect many of this team to start so the lineup I expect to see Mkhitaryan's out as well he's out for another week uh, it seems so he didn't travel either so David De Gea Valencia reinstated at right back along with Luke Shaw on left back they were rested for the Europa League game and I fully expect them to be reincorporated incorporated into the team smalling and uh, blind as the center back pairing now I, I'm, I'm not too sure what Jose is going to do to be fair I wouldn't mind the 4-2-3-1 I know a lot of fans don't like that but against Watford um, you know they're, they're strong going forward sometimes but they're, they're a very temperamental team and I think two in the midfield should be able to deal with it I know we want to see a three-man midfield and we want to see other players but um, I think Fellaini will be reinstated um, alongside Pogba and Fellaini's actually been pretty good this season so we just need to make sure that we're not caught out. They, they need to sort out the defensive duties a bit more. Fellaini needs to sit back a bit more like he was doing earlier in the season allowing Pogba to drift forward and I think we'll be okay against Watford. And then the forward three I reckon the, the two iffy places I'm on about is Fellaini centre mid uh, place and also right wing. I think uh, Marcial will start left wing, Rooney will be reinstated as the uh, the cam in this uh, formation. But the right wing, it could be Mata, could be Lingard, could be Rashford. Personally, I want to see Rashford, but it'll probably be Mata. I mean, again, Watford aren't really blessed with too much pace. They've got pacey players, but, you know... They're not really known for it, so Mata playing wouldn't be too bad, I don't think. And then obviously Ibrahimovic up front. I would prefer to see Rashford, though. I want to see Rashford and Ibra in the same lineup. But uh, yeah, I think the main thing we need to change is not sitting back and inviting pressure. Uh, a lot of people saying this was, uh, you know, Mourinho's thing, and um, you, you could see on the touchline he didn't want the players to sit back. He was screaming at them to get forward. And they just weren't. They were, they were literally sitting so deep, letting final come at us. So we really need to stop that against Watford. We need to take the game to them, get get an early goal and, you know, put pressure on them and actually press. Because when we pressed against final in the brief two-minute, five-minute spells that we did, uh, you know, we, we won the ball back, we won possession back quickly and we instigated some attacks. We didn't score from them, but we almost did. So, yeah, we need more of that. Watford's threat, it's, it's pretty obvious. And two forwards in Dini, Agarlo scored most of their goals last season. You've also got Etienne Kapui, who started really, really well this season. Three goals, one assist for him. Uh, I think if they start him, uh, I've seen a couple of Watford games, and although he hasn't really got a goal or an assist yet, Amrabat looks fairly dangerous. Uh, of course, they've got other players, but I think they are the key 
players that uh, we need to look out for, but on the grand scheme of things, we have to win. Manchester City are 5 for 5, 15 points. They're currently 5 points ahead. Of course, we've got this game in hand. We need to win. Everton have won today, so they're on 13. So if we do beat Watford, we will go third and be 3 points behind Manchester City in 1 against Everton. But of course, we have to win first. And I'm going to say we're going to win, but it'll be an edgy game. I reckon we'll win 2-1. But, um, yeah, I think by the end of it, it'll probably be fairly comfortable. A 2-1 win is never really comfortable, but I, I, I think we'll sit it out towards the end. So I'm going to say 2-1, and, uh, yeah, hopefully we just get a win on the board. Scorers, I'm going to say Ibrahimovic, and um, I want to say Pogba, because a lot of people keep going on about Pogba, and it's just ridiculous. They're writing them off already, and uh, it would just be nice to silence a couple of haters. But to be fair, I'm not really too bothered what other people say. We know how good he is and how good he will be. So uh, it doesn't really matter. But for the sake of this, I'll say Ibra and Pogba to score. So uh, let me know what your predictions are. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.